This is Dragon's Den. Titles are much more important now than they used to be, because in a simple world, two or three channels, uh, it, you were able to make your show known reasonably easy. Now with uh, anybody will tell you who buys a show, no matter what you pitch it as, when you actually go to air, the show will be a title that works on the EPG, that works on the as you're scrolling through. It's an ongoing conversation, really, and sometimes we even put titles out to research. And um, you know, we asked the audiences, uh, if you saw all of these titles in an EPG, which is the one you're most likely to watch, uh, what do you think you'd be watching if you decided to watch this programme? And that can be quite a useful way of, of doing it as well. It's got to be there, blankety blank. It's got to be there, the generation game. You can't have a title because the EPG only has three words on it. So if the secret of your show is in the fourth or fifth word, that's wrong for a start. I'm sure lots of great ideas went in with different titles at their pitch stage and commissioning editors or channel heads then said, actually, it doesn't work for us. You shouldn't be too wedded to a title at the pitch stage. It is useful to have a, 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 you know, a title that will explain what the show is about and um, that you're happy with, but the majority of shows that are pitched to a broadcaster do not stick with that title. It was called um, Cash Mountain all during its development stage, it was called Cash Mountain, and it was ITV. So, uh, David Litterman again said, Cash Mountain, what's that mean? <laughs> he, said, so, he said, the title has to tell me what this show's about, so he suggested Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we all thought, oh, that old song, you know, old fashioned song, and this yeah. show's supposed to be up to the minute and all the rest, but anyway, they insisted, he insisted, that's what it's about, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I want to be a millionaire. So that's what we went with then. Actually, it's just happened to me now in this thing that I'm doing for TV3. TV3 had an idea what they wanted the title to be. The title sponsor had the, an idea what they wanted the title to be. And I had an idea, and the, and the company had an idea what we wanted the title to be. And in the end, we've sort of done an amalgam and a, and a compromise. But it wasn't what any one of the three wanted. Titles can sell a show. I, I once sold a show to America called American Princess which I invented in the room because I'd gone in to pitch something different and they didn't want the thing I'd pitched. The titles are always, always really hard. They're the hardest thing to crack. Which is a pity because I hate titles. I'm really bad at them. I can never think of anything to say, clever or witty. So title, if it's something like that's going to absolutely sell your format, then yeah, possibly. But so many programmes have got new titles and new names given to them over the years that I really wouldn't worry about it. The Wonder Year. The Alphabet. Exhumed. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. The Mind. The Angry Chef. Stars in their pies. 